Crafty Crafty, please do hit that subscribe button below and make sure that you also click on the little bell to turn your notifications on. It will let you know every time I upload a new tutorial. It's completely free to subscribe and it's well worth doing. So today we're going to be making these. These are photo props. They are super, super easy to make. They are really effective for parties and weddings. And as I say, they're really easy to make. Think about cake toppers, but without all the layering. So we're in design space. We're going to make our photo props. So we're going to go to images first. We're going to use all design space images today. You can see that I've already got crown in there. So I'm just going to pick a few crowns that I like. And you can see that I've got four down here. I'm then going to change my search and I'm going to change it to glasses. And again, I'm just going to come in and I'm going to pick a few glasses that I like. And you can use any images you want, whatever your theme is for your party, you can use whatever images you like. So we're then going to go to insert images. We're going to work on this one first. Now, you really want to work with single layers. You don't want to be kind of gluing things together. You want it to be quite nice and simple, although you can do it that way if you want to. So you've got two choices with images like this. You can either weld them so they become one, or you can slice them. So I'm going to slice them. So I'm going to ungroup first. I'm going to take away this layer because I don't want it. Now I can either do that by hiding it, which it already is, by clicking on this eye icon, or I can delete it. So I'm just going to delete it. I'm then going to highlight and I'm just going to slice. And it will then slice out these pieces here. So my glasses are then going to cut just like this. Now exactly the same with this one, but you can see that our layer is already sliced out. So if I just hide it, that's all we need to do on that one. And then with these glasses, I want the top ones, but not the bottom ones. So I've got two choices with this. I can either grab a shape and slice, or I can go to my contour tool, and I can then just contour out these bottom glasses. And then again, with this crown here, we're going to ungroup it. I'm going to delete that bottom layer because I don't need it. And I'm then just going to highlight and slice. And it will then slice out those pieces and I can then delete those. Now, some of them I want glasses on their own. Some of them I want crowns on their own. But some of them I want the glasses and the crowns together. So I'm just going to make those glasses slightly bigger and I'm going to bring this crown over and I'm just going to have a quick play and work out how I want it to be. Once I'm happy with it, I can highlight and I can just go to weld and it's going to cut it out as one continuous piece. And again, exactly the same with this one. I'm just going to highlight and I'm going to weld and again, it's going to cut it out as one piece. So we'll have our glasses with our crowns. We've got glasses on their own and we've got crowns on their own. But as I say, you can use any images that you like. So next I'm going to type some text. So I'm just using Cricut Sans font. So I'm going to go 20 and then enter and then 18. And I'm then just going to make it bigger as well. I'm then going to go to advanced and ungroup to letters and I'm just going to bring them so that they overlap slightly. And you, that's the key to this, you want your pieces, if you're going to do several layers as one, you want them to be able to overlap because they'll sit a lot nicer then. And you just want to play with how you want it to look, it's completely your choice. Once you're happy, you're then going to come in and again, you're just going to highlight all and you're going to weld them. Next, we're just going to type out a name and I'm going to change the font to Samantha. So I'm just going to come up and I'm going to start typing it into my search and you'll see Samantha comes straight up. I'm then just going to make it bigger so I can see and I'm then going to come up and decrease my letter space. So again, all my letters are overlapping. Once I'm happy with that, I'm just going to simply come in and weld them. 
The next thing you need to do is just work out what sizes you want everything to be. And this is your own personal choice. It depends on how big or how small you want them to be if you're working with adults, children. It's completely up to you. Once you're happy, you're then going to go to make it. And we can then go to continue. Now I'm going to be using different card stock today, but I'll let you know when I show you the card stock what settings I'm going to be cutting those on. So first up, I've got some silver glitter card. Now this is from gmcrafts.co.uk. They come in packs, they're great. They don't shed, which I absolutely love. And they do come in different GSMs as well, but they're all quite thick, so they're ideal for photo props and for cake toppers as well if you're layering them and I cut these on the medium cardstock setting on my maker and for my air I cut it on glitter cardstock. They come in some great colours, there's silver, gold, red, green and there's a beautiful rose gold as well and plus there's more on the website. So next up I'm using some Cricut Sparkle Paper and I'm just going to use the Sparkle Paper setting and I'm just going to go in with my fabric brayer and just make sure that that is nice and adhered to my mat. And the reason I'm using a green mat today is my blue mats are on their way out and I actually need to make some paper things and so I don't want to kind of make them go before I've done that. So I'm just using my green mat instead. Next up we've got some Cricut shimmer paper and again I'm just going to use the dedicated shimmer paper setting. And then finally we've got some Cricut glitter cardstock. This is super glittery. It's absolutely gorgeous stuff and of course again I'm going to use the dedicated glitter card setting. So I've got some kebab skewers here. Now you can see that I've actually painted them. Now I spray paint them. I use gold, silver, pink, metallic. But you can just paint them using whatever colours you want. You can use acrylics. Decorate them however you want to decorate them. You can also see there's some glue left on here. That's because I've reused them. I'm not going to throw the sticks away. If I can reuse something, I'm going to. Now you want to try and work out where you want your stick to be. Sometimes you might want it in the middle, sometimes on one end, sometimes you might need two on both ends. So it's well worth working it out. I'm just using my Bosch heat gun today. I love this glue gun. It's amazing. It's a wireless one and it's absolutely fantastic. So you're just going to add some hot glue onto your kebab skewer. And then you're going to place it wherever you want on the back of your photo prop. And you then want to leave it to dry for about a minute. And you may find you need some extra glue along the stick. Just lift the stick up gently and then you can hot glue underneath it. Mm -hmm. 